So this one was a toughie. Um, I figured out how to finally figured out after I don't know about a week's work how to um run my Arduino one hundred one example um on a Raspberry Pi on the Raspberry Pi version three I got here. Right, this is a toughie because um uh, compiling Panda three D for the Raspberry Pi is not easy. Here we are. And now I'm going to pick up the Arduino. And you see, way. I had, I had previously done this on a normal, uh, a normal computer, right? Uh, but the problems with the Raspberry Pi are immense because of course it doesn't use OpenGL. It uses OpenGL ES which is uh, embedded, right? It's, and it's uh, it's so-so because it's not totally um, all that stable. And compiling itself is a nightmare because the Raspberry Pi just can't handle uh, uh, a compile like that. So I had to use distcc, which distributes it onto the network. I have a, a, a server that most of the time is doing nothing. So I just use that as a compile node, and wow, I'm really happy. Oh, and uh, kudos to Thomas Eggy, uh, who wrote the uh, uh, a wonderful guide that explains how to compile Panda 3D for the Raspberry Pi, and <laughs> not only having it compiled, but having it actually work, which is amazing. Uh, and I'm going to be linking that in the in 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 the down below. So you can see what he does. He does it on a, on a virtual machine, which is uh, much slower. He he's compile takes two hours. Mine takes twenty minutes. So yeah, really happy, really happy. It's amazing. Bye.